Hi there, it's Louise here from Louise Mavent Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to host files on your Squarespace website. It's not something that is really provided for by Squarespace, but this is a really useful workaround in case you do want to host files on your site. It's sometimes just convenient to do that and it's an alternative to keeping them on something like Google Drive. So this is my demo site, which I have created specifically to show you uh, different aspects of Squarespace. So for the purposes of this, you can ignore this demo content. But coming over to the left hand side, the first thing we need to do is add a new page. So going down to not linked here on the left and then pressing the plus sign and then choosing page. I'm going to give the page a title, which will simply be hosted files and then start editing. Now, before I am going to start editing, I'm actually going to press cancel because I want to do something before I forget and it's important that I show you. So find your page again here in the not link section and then press the cog there on the right. And the important thing I want to do is just untick enabled so that this page is effectively hidden from public view. If anyone would even try to find it, they would have to be quite clever to put in hosted hyphen files behind the, um, the website name, but it just keeps it out of the way. And it's also stops clogging up um, your website pages with extra ones, which, which aren't really in use, not publicly anyway. And as a result of marking that uh, disabled effectively, it's now gone gray here. So you know that that one is not enabled for public view. So back into the page, and then we're going to press edit. And the first thing I'm going to host on this page, there's really two things to host would be images and documents. So first of all, we're going to do um, an image. So press the plus sign and then image, just like you would if you're adding any image to your site. And then we're going to add the image. So I've just got some here ready just to show you. Okay, so we just press apply. And we're nearly done with this one, actually, it's very quick. So if you press save and then simply come over to your image and then press control and right click, and then we want to copy image address. Now, what that means is you've given that image because it's now hosted on your site, you've given it a web address effectively. So if we were to go into a new tab and we then pressed command V to paste that web address, there is our image. So that just shows that you've given it a web address which works. Um, so it's worth checking that, of course, when you um, add a new image. But that basically means if you go to that address there, you can view your image. So we'll come out of that and back into our site. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, do very similar, but with a document. And it's a slightly different process. So again, pressing edit, and I'm going to press plus, and then I want to put a text box in. So I'll just pop that there above the image. Now, you don't have to put any particular wording in. It can be nonsense if you like, but it makes sense to have something which is meaningful to you because then you'll know what's behind that text. So I'm going to just put in business tools checklist. And then what you need to do is highlight the text and then press the link button. Now in this link menu, we need to click files and you've got the choice here of new file or existing file. So I'm hoping mine is here. There it is. So mine is it there as an existing file. If you wanted to um, add a new one, you would simply just press add a file and then choose it from your computer. So it's a simple upload. So once it is in there, it becomes an existing file. You'll see it in a long list here. And then by clicking on it and it goes darker, you know that that's the one selected. That's all you need to do there. So you just click out of that box and press save. So we've given this wording a link and that link would take you to the document that you are wanting to host on your website. So just as we did with the image earlier, we can press control right click 
And this time it's co copy link address. So click there. And I'm just going to show that that works by going into a new tab, Command V and enter. And there is the document, the business tools checklist that I have just linked to. So that's it really. It's as simple as that. You can fill this page up to your heart's content because it's for internal purposes only. There's no need to worry any at all about um, any formatting or making it look pretty. Um, it's just a question of adding images or text and links as and when you need to. If you click the link at the bottom of this video, you can see the instructions that I've just run through, which you can download and keep as a reference guide for later on. I hope this has been helpful and I'll catch up with you soon.